Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials N6. The topic of this tutorial is the DP exam question 8 that was written on the 25th of May 2023. The formulas used are included in the video. The question is also posted in the description box below. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. Some of the formulas used in these videos, which are taken from DP examinations and past papers, do not appear in most textbooks or the formula sheet attached to your exam. You will need to know them in order to do some of the sums. They appear in the beginning and end screens. Let's get straight into it. Question 8 states, a hollow shaft with an outside diameter of 100 millimeters and an inside diameter of 50 millimeters transmits power at 300 revolutions per minute while supporting a bending moment of 5 kilonewton meters. The maximum torque exceeds the average torque by 15 percent. The bending stress is limited to 100 megapascals. Now, they want you to calculate the following. The equivalent bending moment, the equivalent torque, 8.3 is the maximum allowed, allowed torque, 8.4 is the shear stress in the shaft, and 5, the maximum power that can be transmitted. Okay, so what we need to do first is write out our given information. So D is equal to 0, 0,1 meters. Little d is 0, 0,05 meters. Our N is equal to 300 revs per minute, which is also equal to 5 revs per second because what I've done is taken this 300 and divided by 60 which will give us 5 revolutions a minute a second m is 5 times 10 to the 3 torque The maximum torque, the maximum torque is 15% more than average. And the stress is equal to 100 times 10 to the 6. Okay, so our first formula is 8,1. Our first formula is Me, which is equal to pi times d to the 4 minus d to the 4 stress over 32d. Now, Let's see, do we have everything we need? Pi is a constant, 32 is a constant, so we don't need that. We need our stress, which we have. We have our two Ds, so we can work out Me. So, Me equals pi times 0, 0,1 to the power 4 minus 0, 0,05 to the power 4 times 100 times 10 to the 6 all over 32 times 0, 0,1 so Me which will be important for many sums to come is 9, 2 of 4 
Stelle Newton meters. So all you do is put this in your calculator as it stands and you will get this answer. Me is equal to nine comma two of four times ten to the three. Now eight point two. Now what they want is the equivalent torque. So Me, we use this formula equals 0 comma 5 times m plus t e so what we do here is we say this m e which we have divided by 0 comma 5 minus m equals t e So, our formula will stand as 9,204 times 10 to the 3 over 0, 0,5 minus 5 times 10 to the 3 equals TE. And TE is equal to 13 comma 408 kilo newton meters now te is equal to 13 comma 408 times 10 to the 3 now they want the maximum allowed torque. So you see with these you have to get your answers right in at least the first two or three because it's a cascade effect after this. So in the last two or three they will use answers they will use answers from the first two or three and then as you go down through so it's a cascade effect so make sure your answers are correct so torque is equivalent to the root of te squared minus m squared now we'll do this in kilonewtons which is quite okay so the root of 13 comma 408 squared minus 5 squared. It just saves you having to write times 10 to the 3 and so on and so forth. So this answer comes out to 12 comma 441 kilonewton meters. Twelve comma four four one times ten to the three. Now they want the shear stress in the shaft. So eight comma four. The shear stress is tau equals sixteen d. 16d times te over pi times d to the 4 minus small d to the 4. So, all we have to do now, 16 times 0 comma 1 times te, so now we will have to do times 10 to the 3. So TE is 13,408 
times 10 to the 3 all over pi times 0 comma 1 to the power 4 minus 0 comma 0 5 to the power 4 and so our, sh our shear stress our shear stress is equal to 72,839 mega pascals. Seventy-two comma eight three nine times ten to the six. Okay. Now we've done eight point four and eight point three. We have all our answers. Now we have to calculate the power. So we need the average torque. So power is equal to two pi n T A. T A is equal to T over 1 comma 1 5. The reason is, is because the average torque is, the maximum torque is 15% more than the average torque. So, we are going to take TA is equal to 12,441 over 1,15, which equals 10,818 kilonewton meters. And this is 8,5. So, now that we have our average torque, we can solve. Power equals 2 pi times 5 times 10,818 which will equal 339,854 kilowatts. And that is the last question that they've asked us for this. That's the last sub-question for this question. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.